G'day everyone, my name is Daniel O'Grady and welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. It has been too long since I've made a video, just can't be helped I'm afraid. <clears throat> now uh, do you remember a few uh, videos back and I was asking what colour car would you like to see? Well I got uh, quite a few votes of course from you guys so thank you very much and um, some popular colours were yellow, white, red but the winner was of course blue and that's why we have a blue car here today. It's a pretty special car. Um, it comes from France and I wonder if I have featured too many French cars and on that topic uh, Wasabi cars, you know, I forget, I forget that uh, Wasabi cars is not Japanese cars It is car spotting in Japan could be anything and as I just said like it just slips my mind from time to time I get locked into featuring Japanese cars and I, sh I shouldn't be shame on me anyway, so this is a um, 1970 to 1973 Alpine A110 and the badges say 1600 and also the letter S um, <laughs> which I had to sort of go to Wikipedia to find out what that all meant but apparently the engine is a 1565cc uh, engine and it comes from a Renault R16 138 horsepower so uh, it's got a bit of grunt, which is good to hear. And uh, the designer of this car is a, is a designer I'm, I'm a bit of a fan of. Not, I mean, not crazy fanboy fan, but um, you know, designed some cars that I think are pretty good looking. The Triumph GT6. Now I saw this one in Hiroshima. Uh, I was early, very early morning. They were like vacuuming the floor and I was waiting around because uh, I wanted to visit the Mazda Museum. And uh, I just snuck in and got a few shots, so uh, sorry to make trouble for those guys. Uh, another car of his, BMW 2002 or 2002, I don't even know how to say it. But this is another cool looking car, I really like this one. Uh, the Hino Contessa, also rear-engined. And uh, he also designed Australia's own Leyland 47V, check it out. Now this one I saw at the Brisbane Motor Show well, I don't even know when, but um, can I guess late 80s or early 90s? Anyway, back to the blue car, back to the Alpine. So it's a very curvy, curvy car, fiberglass body. So, you know, we're talking Corvettes, that sort of thing. And the front, um, yeah, it's got those sort of molded in headlights and uh, extra driving lights. Now this one has got some extra lights again, just to light the way. And the bumper, are they like little um, segmented bumpers? Yeah, it looks like. And they've maintained that um, a very old and unusual license plate. I'm not really sure what the deal is. Do, do you guys know which country that might come from? I do not. 3735GQ76, no clue there. But anyway, very, very cool. Um, interesting sort of flared out blinkers there. Uh, you know, indicators, side indicators. And there is a fuel tank in the uh, front of the car, sorry, this car's got me all back to front and uh, and uh, yeah, back to front, yeah, because the engine is of course in the rear, you can see there's air intakes there and the rear quarters, very swoopy, very cool. Now the wheels, I'm digging the wheels, three wheel nuts, it's just a cool look and it's got six spokes which uh, works in quite well. Now you can probably see there's something going on over there, it's very very odd. Now at this car show in Mojico, there were these ladies sort of walking around and followed by this gang of uh, camera people and I don't really know what the deal is, it was more than one model but they'd sort of walk somewhere, you know, the camera would go nuts and then they'd walk over to another space and then they'd go nuts again. So uh, I guess part of the entertainment that was going on, uh, sort of odd but there you go, interesting. Okay, question of the day. Um, I have not prepared anything, but hey, it's rear-engined. So let me know of a, a rear-engined car that you like and or know of. That'd be great. So thank you very much, everyone, and uh, take it easy. See you. With a little bit of rust and a little bit of dirt, I'm a savvy cow's in a neighborhood with savvy.